Tyler here. I got a big, big long question, so I'm gonna dig straight into it. I got my clipboard here uh, so I can read this. This is from Adam. Adam says, my question relates to morning coffee. I like to drink it with cream. Granted, I usually just have one cup per day, and the amount of cream is about a quarter cup. I find that switching to cream instead of milk gives me a much more satisfying cup of coffee. It's a long pull of espresso, not American style drip coffee and reduces the cravings for having coffee in the afternoon. The rest of my diet is really very good. I tend to lean towards a Mediterranean diet, cook whole foods for most of my meals. I bring my lunch to work, usually broccoli, bell peppers, carrot sticks, eaten with hummus, and I rarely eat out. I don't eat prepared packaged foods or drink alcohol. You're doing all right, man. Aside from my cream and my coffee, the only other thing that causes some pains of worry and regret is the occasional afternoon half a cup of Greek yogurt with a spoonful of raw honey on top. I'm also a beekeeper, so there's a lot of honey around. Can these two vices fit in the garage warrior lifestyle? I suppose, if really pressed, I could learn to enjoy drinking my coffee black, but I'm not French, so what do you recommend? Adam, what a great question about coffee, cream, Greek yogurt, honey, all that jazz. Um, first of all, man, high five. You're doing a good job, right? You are living a, a decent warrior lifestyle. I think you're from Australia, so you probably got good food out there. Um, so, what would I say is bad about cream? Uh, the only thing that I say is negative about cream, putting cream in your coffee first thing, because cream is, is a full fat, right? It's a full fat. And generally speaking, when we wake up in the morning, the worst thing you want to do is wake up and have some sugar. Because if you have sugar, it puts you in this carbohydrate burning, glycogen burning mode all day long. And when your blood sugar recovers and crashes down a little bit, because the blood sugar is always trying to keep you in the middle, so it's a wave pattern. When it goes below your normal range, from pushing the glucose in your blood back down, then you crave sugar again. And that's what causes the brain fog, afternoon crash, so on and so forth, right? So, what you wanna do is you want to have fat first thing in the morning, right? If you're, the first thing you should eat should be some sort of fat. And you can add some protein into that. Not too much protein if you really wanna stay in the fat burning zone, right? I, I like protein in the morning, 30 grams, something like that. It's a good place to start because that's gonna lower your appetite as well. Like you mentioned, you mentioned having cream in your coffee makes you crave less coffee and other things later on in the day. So, the only thing wrong with cream, my man, since it's all fat, it fits in with my lifestyle plans, with everything I recommend. The only problem is where is it coming from? Where is your cream coming from? Is it coming from a uh, cow that's in a feedlot that's eating GMO corn and it's eating other cow parts that died because they were eating GMO corn and then you're squeezing the milk out of it and you're taking the cream off the top and putting it in your coffee? If that's where it's coming from, boom, cut it out, all right? Get it out of your life. You don't need that. You do not need that in your life, all right? But since you're living in Australia, I know they have a lot of grass-fed, pasture-raised cows over there. I'm assuming a lot of the milk and a lot of the cream is grass-fed and pasteurized. So find yourself a local farmer. Find yourself a local farmer or a company that you trust that has grass-fed, 100% grass-fed cows that give cream. And if you can find it, do it in the raw form. Don't let them pasteurize that cream. Because when you do it in the raw form, then you're gonna have healthy fats, but you're gonna have digestive enzymes, all these magical things that we don't even know about yet, right? Cream is the fat of life. That's what you should put in your coffee, that grass-fed cream. And if you can't afford it, because I know in the United States, grass-fed cream, raw grass-fed cream, is expensive. It's like 12 to 15 bucks for a pint, right? And that'll last you what? You said a quarter cup, that'll last you like less than a week. So you're spending like 80 bucks a month on cream, right? So what you can do instead is get yourself some grass-fed butter, drop that in your coffee, use a submersion blender, blend that up, and it tastes just as good as coffee with cream in it. All right, so I don't got anything against your cream, man. Just get it from a good source. Now with the Greek yogurt, great source of protein. Again, get the Greek yogurt from a good source. You're a beekeeper, so I'm assuming that your, your honey is coming from your house. By all means, kick your heels up, man. If you wanna burn some extra fat, maybe cut the honey out and just have the Greek yogurt, as long as you tolerate very well. But if you have a good body composition, a little bit of honey at night with your Greek yogurt from your own bees, come on, that's good stuff, man. All right, keep up the great work. 
Keep living that warrior lifestyle, man, because you're doing an excellent job, all right? If you guys did this video, like it, leave a comment, let me know what you think. What do you think about cream in your coffee, all right? I wanna know what you think, so that way I can modify my views of the world to help you and everybody else look, feel, and perform their best. Thanks for watching.